my cash and my hair to my ass. Do the What's popping YouTube? We are back with another video. And today, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing the rubber band method of box braids. Here you guys see my client's hair. She has so much shrinkage, but let's get into this. So basically what I'm going to be doing is starting my parts off in the back. As you can see, I have sectioned the front and the back of her hair and it's currently up. I'm going to be taking my shine and jam and basically what I'm going to be doing is rubbing this all around her part and then I'm going to be grabbing my rubber band and just tying it. I like to tie mine really tight. That's just my personal opinion. But what you don't want to do is make it so tight that your client is like having to take Advil and stuff like that because they can't handle the tightness. So this is basically all I'm doing is just tying the rubber band around the parts that I'm making. Whether your client wants triangle parts or like boxes, that's most definitely up to them. But she wanted boxes, so that's what I'm doing, and I'm just going to be making my parts all throughout her hair. The key to perfect parts and all of that is really paying attention to detail. Here you can see me really focusing on those small little pieces. That's really what's going to make a difference between straight parts and like crooked parts. And I think parts are really what makes the braids. So I think it's very important to take your time and really pay attention to detail. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I'm just pulling apart all of her little pieces of hair so you guys could really see every single box. Um, yeah, so that's basically the finished look of the parting on her whole head. This is what it should look like by the time you finish. Okay, so now that I have finished with everything, I'm just going to be spraying her hair and combing it out a little. This helps so that the state of her natural hair hides more in the braid since we are braiding with straight hair. So I'm basically going to be taking the hair and like wrapping it around the rubber band. And then I'm going to be splitting the top piece in half and adding it fake and real both together and then just continue braiding. As you guys could see here, I'm just braiding her hair all the way down. She didn't want goddess or anything like that, so there was no need to add any type of curls or anything like that. So I'm just going to continue to braid down. Okay, so as you guys can see here, now that I finished braiding, I'm going to be taking away my scissors and just cutting away all of those flyaways. This is crucial to your final look.
all right you guys so i have finally reached the final braid and i'm just cutting away the flyaways i cannot stress this enough how important it is to cut away those flyaways it's the key for your box braids to look as clean and as pristine as possible so yes just ensure that you make sure all those flyaways are cut after i finish cutting i'm going to be getting my mousse and i'm just going to be rubbing this and applying this all throughout her scalp this also um helps with those flyaways but it also feels really good for the client's head after all of that braiding All right, you guys, so the last and final step is to boil the braids. What you wanna do is, by the time you realize you're on the last braid, is just go set aside some hot water on the stove so that way by the time you're finished, it's ready. And the key to this is just putting the tips of the hair into the water. This helps to seal the ends of the braids and also just help loosen up the hair. All right, you guys, so my last and final step is to add accessories. She wanted silver string, so here you see me applying the silver string, and I'm going to be applying this to only two braids. We felt that that look is what would look the cutest, and yeah. So you guys, this is the final look. I really am in love with this style. She looks stunning in her new braids. And I'm also in love with this video because it's in slow-mo. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you in some way, shape, or form. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe.